Let's take a look at the molecular geometry here for COCl2. And note that this, oh, this is an oxygen. So we don't have CO cobalt. We have carbon, oxygen, and then the two chlorine atoms, COCl2. So we start with a valid Lewis structure. And if you need help drawing the Lewis structure here, there's a link in the description of this video to help you. If we look at the table here, we can figure out the steric number, and we're looking at the central carbon atom here, and that's because when we look at molecular geometry, we look from the perspective of the central atom. The central carbon has one, two, three atoms bonded and no lone pairs. So the steric number is three, no lone pairs. The molecular geometry is trigonal planar, and the bond angle, the ideal bond angle, is 120. Let's visualize this in three dimensions. So the purple, that's that central carbon. Here's our oxygen and then the two chlorine atoms. And you can see that we have this plane. It's all in one plane and there's three of them. So this is trigonal planar. That's the molecular geometry here for COCl2. The electron geometry, since there's no lone pairs, that's going to be trigonal planar as well because it's going to be in a plane. There's no lone pairs. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So we saw that we had a trigonal planar molecular geometry. If we use the AXE notation, we could also figure out the molecular geometry that way. We'd say A, that's the central carbon, X, number of atoms bonded, one, two, three, and then E, the number of lone pairs, but there aren't any lone pairs. So we have AX3, we either memorize or look that up, trigonal planar. Do note that when we talk about the bond angles here, this 120, that is an ideal bond angle. The actual bond angles are a little bit different because of the difference in the oxygen and the chlorine atoms. So we get this actual bond angle here between the chlorines of 111.8 degrees. Close, but not the 120 ideal that we talk about here in the table. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry, bond angles, and electron geometry for COCl2. Thanks for watching.